So in today's class of mathematics, let us find the sum of 4 upon 7 and 5 upon 8. This is today's question, okay? We have to find the sum of 4 upon 7 and 5 upon 8. So basically here the denominator is different. So let us see what happens when the denominator are different. How you all are going to solve. First you all can take down the question. Find the sum of 4 upon 7 and 5 upon 8. Now let us find the uh, uh, sum of these two numbers. So first you all write down here. Okay here. 4 upon 7 is equal to. How you all have to write this 4 upon 7. 4, take 4 upon 7, multiply it with the denominator of other. Both numerator and denominator are to multiply with this one. Cross multiply it is like, okay, 4 upon 7, you all are multiplying it with 8. Okay, and what you all are going to get? 4 8s are 32, right? And 7 8s are 56. And next number is what? And your next number is 5 upon 8. 5 upon 8 is equal to 5 upon 8. Multiply it with 7. So you will have to make it like fractions, right? So 5 7 is. See what I have done. I have taken this 5 upon 8 is equal to 5 upon 8. Multiply it with the denominator of the other. With numerator and denominator, you will have to multiply this. So what 5 7 is, I will get 35 upon 8. 56 because 8 7s are 56 right now um, what answer you all got is 32 upon 56 you all got 32 upon 56 and 35 upon 56 okay so write down hence hence 32 upon 56 and 35 upon 56 are like fractions are like fractions okay because the denominator is same here you all can see the denominator is same that's why you say it is like fractions therefore you can say therefore the required the required sum is therefore the required sum is equal to 4 upon 7 plus 5 upon 8 you will get what 32 plus 35 Okay, separately you write down 56, right? Upon 56. Now, basically this is equal to what? It is equal to 32 plus 35 upon 56, right? 32 plus 35 upon 56 is like fraction. No? Denominator is same now. So, if you add this to what you are going to get? 35 plus 32 will give you 30, 30, it will be 65, 66, 67. So, you will get 67 upon, your answer is 67 upon 56. So, I hope you will have understood how to find the sum of 4 upon 7 and 5 upon 8. And here, especially when the denominator is different. Okay. I hope you will have understood and thanks for watching.